Welcome back to MG Midget Birth of a Race Car, capturing my journey from car restoration to the 2022 MG Car Club Speed Series. In this episode, we're going to be refitting the cooling system. So this is the car right now. It's missing a radiator. It's missing the coolant pipe here, which I had to take off for the, uh, for the engine fit. We're missing all the pipe work, all the water pipe work, uh, all the heaters currently disconnected. So what we've got to do is fit all of the pipe work, all the clips, uh, and then fill it up with antifreeze, ready to go, ready for our starting. Uh, on the surface of it, quite a straightforward job, should be quite simple. So uh, let's see if it gives us any problems. Okay, so it's quite straightforward so far. We've got our cross flow pipe in, got our first main pipe in. And then first thing I've noticed is this won't mount to the manifold because I've got a manifold manifold. So at the moment I've just zip tied that to the, the heat shield here. Uh, we've got our tap bypass, so that's taken off now. So the, the hose luckily bends straight round into the heater matrix. So that's that side sorted. Uh, so next thing to do then is to get the, uh, the radiator on. Okay, so first problem is mounting the radiator. Uh, obviously it doesn't fit to these, to these posts. Uh, you have to have the frame. Luckily I kept that, uh, but with the absence of all the other bodywork around it, I've had to just make some minor modifications for that to get that to fit. So that now goes in the front here and we can mount the radiator to that. So we're, we're back on course, we can get the radiator mounted. That's the radiator on. What I've done here is mount the expansion tank on the side of the wing. So we've got our pipe feeding into the radiator here. So all that remains now is the last two pipes for the cross flow from the top of the radiator across. And then we've got the pipe down at the bottom to the bottom of the radiator. So uh, I'm gonna get those fitted now. So with the coolant system now finished, all the pipes in place, fully sealed, last thing that remains is to put some 
anti-freezing so i'm using some ready mix stuff just to just to fill it up uh, the cap of course being on the the side of the radiator so i'm going to fill it up from the top of the radiator and that'll be the coolant system done So with the shiny new cap and my overflow pipe in place, that's us done. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for all your comments. See you on the next video.